Hello everyone, welcome to AIB course solution. I hope all of you are doing well by the grace of almighty Allah. Today I'll be showing you how you can design an inverter using Cadence Virtues. I'll be showing you how you can design the schematic of the inverter, how you can do the transition analysis. Myself, MD Afsa Siddiqui, admin of ACS and without waiting any longer, let's begin. So at first we'll be creating a folder, a new folder and you can name it anything you want to after creating the folder we will be copying these three files into the folder now we will be opening open in terminal and here we will be writing csh then we will press enter then we will be writing source chsrc then again enter and finally we will be writing virtuoso virtuoso enter and this way our virtuoso terminal will be opened however we will be doing our main simulation i mean the main schematic design now from here we will be clicking on tools library manager file new library we will be naming the library as mylib okay now we will be opening technology file for new library and we will be selecting attached to an existing technology library then here we will be selecting gpdk 045 now we will be opening this my library file file new cell view we will be naming the cell as inverter then ok Now we'll be creating an instance and here we will be searching for PMOS 1 volt and we'll be selecting library as GPDK 045. Then again we'll be selecting NMOS 1 volt. Then we'll be creating wire. We'll be completing our schematic design. Now we'll be creating our pins. At first we'll be creating VDD, which is our input output. Then we'll be creating uh, VSS, which is our ground. Now time for VIN is our input the out the output now our schematic design is complete I will be saving it I will be checking if yeah our schematic saved without any error Now we'll use create wire name V in then V out S 
save now launch then we'll select we'll be selecting ADEL okay analysis choose transient stop time will be 20 and okay then we'll be selecting setup stimuli we'll be selecting off VSS then we'll be selecting the function to DC enabled checked DC voltage will be zero apply then VDD function will be DC enabled DC voltage will be 1.83 uh, yeah. then we'll be selecting the in will be a pulse in our build will be zero it will be 1.8 the period will be 10 and apply now we'll be selecting outputs setup from design clicking on the V in and V out then we'll be going back to the setting output okay Going back to the same place again. Simulation. At least and run. And you can see our simulation is done. This is our transient analysis. So, guys, that is all for today. See you soon. Stay safe. Assalamu alaikum.